Gundam's still embarrassed! Kane, I can't... Nagato's sudden appearance. No, it was how much it was messed by, I think. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. If the time in the building was all messed up, then we can only rely on Nekamaro's radio clock. The time of death was clearly 7.30 a.m. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be in our time? 5.30. Rano, that was you. Oh, right, sorry. If only I heard the sound when he fell, it would have been a great clue. We have it right here. The only scream. It's not the time to let out a scream. If only Nekomaru's alarm was loud enough, we would have heard it too. That's yeah, too far for that. There's no point in saying that. If it does, if it does not exist in this world. No, he said if it doesn't exist in this world. All right, so if. we know what we have to do. All right, we yeah. Let, <laughs> all right, let's get to that point. Uh, Rhino, you're going to read Chucky's line this time. Fair enough. So I got used to my characters not really talking during this. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? I consent with Sonya! Hey, wait a minute! It's alright, we consented with you first. Well... No, you didn't! You consented with Fuyihiko! You're right, we argued with you. <laughs> That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Rumbling? I thought it was an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? By the way, I thought it was an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. That sums up Akane, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, most people, when you feel it, you're just like, oh, there's an earthquake. Eh, I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, get somewhere safe? I mean, the bed's decently safe. <laughs> Not, Not in the crummy room, room at eight! <laughs> That's fair. Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we hear the impact sound. We heard that noise, too. It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is this, Sonia? Oh, well, that sound everyone heard, I did not hear it at all. Alright, here we go. Huh? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pangs. There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Huh? You can tell. I instantly woke up and left my room. That's when I saw the clock in the lounge. Excellent work, Akane! That rumbling sound we heard was at 5.30 a.m. It's like the answer to how much our time was off is literally right in front of me! Two hours. Ah! I can do math! Yeah. <laughs> Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7.30, and if we heard the sound of his impact at 5.30, that means our time was off by two hours. Two hours? That much? He was starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Plus, the funhouse has no windows, and there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious, so they can lure out just Nekomaru. Lure out only Nekomaru? If you mess with the clocks and use a specific thing, you definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone, right? From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. Oh, he left for Monokuma yoga. Yeah. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to lure only Nekomaru, that specific thing is... All right, Tai Chi, I bet. Monokuma Tai Chi. Ah! That's it. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. How did they use it? We were required to go to Great Tower every morning at 7am for that activity, right? 
But if they messed with all the clients inside the building, what would that do to us? We wouldn't be able to attend on time. That wouldn't affect Nekomaru. His radio clock had the exact time. That's right. In doing so, the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time. When I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning, If I recall, you witnessed Nekobaru around 5.30, uh, sorry, 5 a.m. And if that time was also two hours off, it should have been 7 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty much it. At that time, he was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi right on schedule. I see. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma meant when he said those words. Too early. He didn't even ask you yet. Everyone, Aegis. Everyone skipped. When you said everyone, you were including us, right? We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. Oh, jeez. That's... Well, how should I put it? Oh, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? Wrong! Too bad! Liar, I'm right! That's not it. It's incorrect! That's definitely correct answer. You always get so stubborn like this. Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. Now that we've found out how the killer lured Nikamaru... Don't talk about peanuts, I'm still hungry. The number of suspects has drastically decreased. Huh? Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar! You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyuhiko's going to say next. Huh? What the hell do you mean? You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower, and something else happened after that. They talking about that alarm? Hmm, alarm. A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, the clock at the Strawberry House Lounge started going off. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? I remember now. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room, but there was one guy who never left the lounge. We were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Which means, that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell. Are people forgetting that... Yeah, they're, they're, uh, yes, I think we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna bring it up. No, not even that. I, I like, are people forgetting that they didn't need to... They could have still been there when Nekomaru fell because they set him up like that. Yeah, probably. Who is it? Who's the bastard? It's whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time, right? Okay. It was obviously Nagito. That's who they're expecting us to say. Yeah. Ah! Thank God we can kill him! The one who wasn't there. It's you, right, Nagito? That's right! Nagito wasn't there! It was just me, Gundam, and Fuyuhiko! He didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. You weren't in your room, were you? If that's the case, where were you? Please, say something! If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm going to suicide dive you. What's that? If I may be frank. No, no seriously, you're what's a suicide dive? No, you're Nagito. I don't know. Even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I couldn't. Couldn't? What do you mean? <laughs> it's merely fully the foolish talk of the week. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. You, 
You're definitely fucking lying! However, that is also true for me. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. Come on, Chiaki, say that you didn't hear it either! And I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, everyone else heard it. To be honest, it's not just them. The same goes for me, too. Huh? I was in a pretty deep sleep, so I thought that's why I couldn't hear it, but... It wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Couldn't hear it? What does that mean? You still don't know. I got an IQ of 20. What do you expect? Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. The only people who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nagito, Sonya, and Chiaki. The secret is what these three have in common. This also be the secret that points to the killer. Hangman's Gambit. Hangman's Gambit. Deluxe room? Uh, yeah. Yeah, d deluxe rooms, actually. There's okay. another at the end. Alright, well, there's your B menu, so you can get a good start. There's and, an L. and there they go. S, you don't even belong here! Well, no, the at S the is at the end, end of the room. The locks. Oh, we're Deli! Gonna we're gonna need the E in a bit. Ah, there are the E's. I'm gonna make a Super U. Super U. The lure. Ah, there's the X. Watch out, that U is about to. Okay, super. Oh. So many O's! M. Ooh. Oh, I did that the wrong. Would you like to make super M? And it's gonna be S. <laughs> I made a super M and blew it up. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, then. Nagito, Sonya, and Chiaki. The three of you were staying in deluxe rooms, right? If I recall, the deluxe rooms are... The guest rooms are... The reason we could not hear the rumbling noise! That's right, it's because the deluxe rooms have superior sound information. You actually noticed that, nice case. Nice catch, Hajime. Are you using your ultimate reserved course student talent? I will punch you in the dick. Now then, you guys must understand now, right? The true identity of Nekomaru's killer. Hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? Why? Well, that fact is now is a very important clue. And a decisive factor in identifying the killer. Decisive factor? Somehow, I feel like I understand what Nagito means. Killer among us. The killer who murdered Nekamaru. Two to the right. I'm proud of us for actually calling that good a joke. Yes. <laughs> Gundam, there's something I want to ask you. Why the fuck were you awake? And the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge. You rushed over there too, right? What's wrong with that? If the bell catastrophe rings throughout the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. Why were you able to hear it? Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? Nagita was staying in a deluxe room at the same house on the same floor, and he couldn't even hear it. So why were you able to hear that alarm? Huh? Now that you mention it... Gundam? There's only one possibility. You weren't in your room at the time. That's why, even though you were staying in a deluxe room, you still went to the lounge, am I right? Gundam? Um, you have some sort of explanation, right? 
Gundam probably couldn't return to his room because of Fugihiko. Me? After you saw Nikamura head to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while, am I correct? Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? If you were in the lounge for that long, the killer who had left earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Even though Mechamaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest, the killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Like putting Nekamaru in sleep mode and tying him up with the wire. In order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekamaru at the tower. Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekamaru, the killer was already at the tower. And once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. And they were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound, thus proving they were in the room. Just like us! The best case scenario would have been that those two in the lounge had gone to check the deluxe rooms. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. Because I was in the lounge. So the killer couldn't go back to their room and ended up hearing an alarm sound. It's the lounge's alarm. The alarm's lounge! Hey, what are you doing? It's so loud! Why are you a bitch? Well, why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died down. If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would have been found out. That would have been the worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. If those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned, that would have been ideal, but... How ironic, the moment for you he goes set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. Why didn't he just walk in, walk in like I was going to the bathroom? There are no bathrooms. Except there are. <laughs> Gundam, please, can you at least say something? Answer me this. Clean myself from my four dark defense of destruction. How many ears do we possess? Ten? Huh? The answer is ten. That's right, I possess 10 ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system in my ear may as well not exist. Is that your argument? You bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? Do not panic. The truth shall not convince. <laughs> At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. Oh, hey. Okay. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right, that's all it was. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing just a bit too perfect? And yeah, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems that was actually horrible timing on my part. Just like Rhino in that first episode of Among Us. <laughs> I see you're still holding out. Rhino, why did I see you walk away from Dan's body? Really bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Hold on a sec. You know, Hajime. This class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Hey, what do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a farce. Just a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Seriously, let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito, something definitely happened to you, didn't it? You got the despair disease. Again. 
At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. What... what actually happened? Did you discover something? Well, let's just leave that fun for later and finish this opening act already. You said opening act again! Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gundam's rebuttal! Just kill him. But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Gundam! <laughs> that was simply at a loss for words. After being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong from the very beginning. Since the beginning? Based on your assumption, I hung Nakamura from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor disappear, descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to the strawberry house, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Although going to and fro was busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? I see. The contact elevator was broken. As I recall, the killer tampered with the Grape House control panel, which shut down the elevator. Plus, the stopped elevator would be facing the Grape House side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at Grape House. For these reasons, it is indisputable a fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, you wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge began ringing. Close enough. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Are you serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. Why you, sucker? Foo ha ha ha. Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Oh. Oh, I thought it would be the PTA, okay. I don't think we're at that point yet. Probably contact elevator. All right, but anyway, let's see what this is. That elevator was... The only means of travel between the two houses. Wrong. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses. Alright, so I think we're gonna need to copy something. Plus, the elevator was broken at Grape House. The killer cannot return to Strawberry House. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. Uh, Would have been different if they had an accomplice. Or if there was Speaker a secret password player. How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop this already? Alright. So we need to copy secret passageway. way. Uh -oh. uh, do we have a Nagato Sun appearance? Okay, no, no that's, what I, that's what I was checking. Because if it, I, I was actually thinking it would be that instead. But we don't, so we secret have to worry about it. Only means a passage. Yes. Correct. I had a feeling we were far enough into the case where we would have to start copying stuff. I mean, after the first attempt, uh, yeah. False! Ha ha! I didn't need to consent with Fuyuhiko this time! No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Such a method does not exist. Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? So, wow, we gotta select people a lot this time! Hello. You, you sp spun most of the thing. The fabulous man. Nagito, you should know. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? Hello, I've come to claim my protagonist to Hoge. There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House to the third floor of Grape House. Isn't that right? Please, once again, I let the reserve course show off. 
But you're right, there's a door on the first floor of the octagon, which is the oh, first on the floor. floor. Don't you fucking interrupt me when I'm trying to recover from a slight misstep in my words. Okay. But you're right, there's a door on the first floor of the octagon, which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. After I opened the door and went down... Surprise, surprise, I ended up in the Monokuma Archive, which is on the third floor of Grape House. Is this going to be its sole, like, purpose in the case? I expected the Monokuma Archive to be more important. Man, the third floor, fourth floor, are actually connected. Plus, once you clear the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they wanted. We're arguing we didn't even consent to anyone. However, what if the, the killer was unaware of the existence of the final What? There's no way they didn't know! As merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> if you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. There's no way I can stop! What did you say? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I turn into a skinny hulk. <laughs> the incredible lackey you know. Uh I guess uh, we'll just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. Even if the turd box does the not exist. Ah oh, shit. Provided you could use something however, how frail frail, I say. You're a de you decayed illusion? I don't know, yeah. man! You gotta get a lot better at slicing those. Look, so it just doesn't... Like, they're really just showing up in places like I literally can't slice them. No, three t uh, appeared on the top all next to each other. See? You really don't like to like... There you go. Horizontal, man. We get it. Oh god! There we go, now we did it. <laughs> I, had al I already proved a secret passage exists. The secret passage was at the octagon! Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon? Don't back your cur. What? Don't bark you cur, he said. Shit, what was he saying? He probably means try providing the evidence that the killer went to the octagon, right? Why? Okay. Ah. God damn! Oh, come on! That was weird. It's because I was I, I was trying to cut through stuff, and then suddenly the one showed up like, "Hey, it's me! You cut me once, you fail." <laughs> The wire used to string up Nekamaru's body, the hammer that looked like the weapon, and the chain on the door in the tower. Those are all the items that weren't at the fun house. Where did the killer obtain them? The only place I could think of is the octagon. There were various weapons and tools there. Pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains too. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. If that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage too, right? <laughs> it seems this is the end. Normally we'd end up listening to hard to me lecture us with a very long summary of the case. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act, so I'm going to end this right now. Hey, what That's are you- right. I'm doing the final comic, Hajime. This car trial proceeds at my pace now. You have no power. I- 
for the record, I'm not doing this. He's just saying this. I'm not clicking. Thank you, Nekumar wasn't able to go to Great Town, which was supposed to be the meetup point. So we tried going over to Strawberry Tower. Just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Well, it's obviously he'd attempt that. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Also, the button at Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, so he was easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. But surprise, Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Hold on! If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainty, but even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. They could just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened and come up with a different plan. And without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Stop no! interrupting my flow. Through this, Gundam successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Tower. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Hold on, you, what did you say? That, I didn't battle? Hmm, what's wrong with that? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, I can't ignore those words. Why are you angry all of a sudden? You fools, do not understand. You don't understand at all. Huh, you make me laugh. After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all. I don't understand anything? What does that mean? It appears I cannot finish just yet. Maybe I'm just a human just destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish. Oh, is that why you're frustrated? It sounds like a that sounds like a medical problem, sir. What do you intend to do? It's obvious. I'm going to destroy your illusory, illusory assumptions. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's goodnight button. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Sorry, neck. Neck Omaru. Uh, to press it, I'd have to get behind him. Hamster. Neck. It's not easy to get a drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one on one situation. Just as I thought, truly frail. So coming so easily to that simple argument is just a mere illusion. <laughs> Did I do the right number last? I don't know. If you want to set me up as the killer, at least suppress your own human limitations. That's wrong, Gundam. You're the one who's wrong! Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Listen well, I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your overwhelming power, and that's for the other. You must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I guess you really don't want to admit it. My throat hurts. And just as you requested, I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. Here we go, hey, PTA! Have fun. For us to knock at Empire, is that what that said? You're out of bullets. How do I? Space. That wasn't what I wanted. Oh, it was shifts, my bad. I think it's Tab, actually. The four Dark Divas. <laughs> 